Tal Katora Stadium in New Delhi was filled to capacity as thousands attended Darshan Education Foundation's Silver Jubilee celebrations. The event was organized to celebrate the 23 Darshan Academy schools that have opened within a span of 25 years by Darshan Education Foundation. They offer a unique learning model focused on both academic, physical and spiritual development to help students achieve their highest potential. Ladies and gentlemen, these gentlemen need no words of introduction. They are the epitome of peace and spreading love and compassion amongst the entire world. We have amongst us His Holiness Sant Rajendra Singh Ji Maharaj, His Excellency Freddie Swan, Ambassador of Denmark, Dr. Harshwardhan, former Union Health Minister. We have His Excellency Roser Gopal, High Commission of Trinidad and Tobacco Republic. We would be starting our glorious occasion, this mega occasion, by lighting the ceremonial lamp. Founder Chairman Sant Rajinder Singh Ji Maharaj, Mata Rita Ji and distinguished guests were welcomed by a dance to the program. This was followed by an uplifting seminar in which the guest speakers shared their vision on education and peace. In his keynote address, Maharaj Ji expressed his joy on the momentous occasion. The students, parents of Darshan Academies and everyone who's associated here with the Darshan Education Foundation, dear brothers and sisters. It is wonderful to be here on this uh, 25th year culmination of uh, something that was started known as Darshan Education Foundation. We who um, are associated with meditation for many, many years through the grace of Sankar Pal Singh Ji Maharaj and Sandarshan Singh Ji Maharaj uh, felt that what would be great is if the young children who are our future would be imbibed with virtues which will make life more livable, more peaceful, more loving and more caring for the future generations. So we thought it would be a good idea to um, start to instill those traits which will help the generations coming forward to um, know about the true purpose uh, of our existence, to realize that whatever one thinks, whatever one talks, whatever one does, does that affect on someone else? We've all passed a very difficult period for the last two, two and a half years with this pandemic. And if nothing else, the pandemic has uh, 
made us all realize that each and every one of us is connected. It's not that something happens in one part of the world, it's not going to affect in other things in other parts of the world. And the realization that we are connected is one of the most important aspects of life. You know, we go uh, through education process, uh, we learn the languages, we uh, learn our histories and uh, maths and sciences, and we get into the workforce. And it is said that uh, the early years of a human being are the ones where they can grasp a lot more knowledge. And so we felt that if we were to start some schools in which not only would the emphasis be on education, quote unquote, as generally is to educate people about the outside activities of a human being, but if we were to also inculcate right from the beginning the importance of realizing our oneness, the importance of being uh, loving and caring, the importance of living a life peacefully, that the children in the future uh, will be leading lives in which uh, there won't be conflicts, and if there are any, there will be mechanisms of resolution them. And so we, uh, in the Darshan Academies, started one period in the morning, the first period, in which we encourage children to know about themselves. Dear students, dear parents, and all other distinguished guests, I know it's a, it's a uh, great moment for the foundation because uh, 25 years, Silver Jubilee, it's, a, it's an important uh, occasion. And I was told that all over the country, there's a, a lot of institutions have started uh, with a very laudable aim and objective and uh, to spread the message of goodness and peace and to ensure that there is social harmony not only at the national level but also at the international level. And uh, it is not only in India but of course uh, all over the world. I was told uh, at almost a few dozen countries where we have and with the headquarters in Chicago. So, 25 years has been, if not too long, but it has been an impressive journey. And uh, I'm sure uh, His Highness Sant Rajin Singh Ji must be very, very satisfied and contented with uh, uh, whatever has been achieved in the last 25 years. Today I will uh, speak a little bit about um, how you can take responsibility. I like education. Education is the only tool that we have in common and a tool that we have to apply to secure that we have a better world. Today this world is devastated by crisis, crisis after crisis, pandemic, war, climate changes scarcity of the most important resources. What we don't have in excess is the talents, the talents of people, because we all have talents. We can be differently able, we can have different cultures as background, but still we can make a difference. Good afternoon, namaste. As we say in Trinidad and Tobago, sitaram. When we look at the concept of uh, peace, the topic that we are faced with today, I asked myself before accepting this invitation, is peace even possible? Is peace truly achievable? And I questioned that concept because I looked at our educational system as it evolved over the centuries. Over the last few hundred years, we have evolved in all aspects of engineering, in all aspects of medicine, in all aspects of technology. We have now moved into space technology. 
But did we achieve peace? Because peace is not something that we could take from an external resource. It is not something that we can pursue with our physical bodies and it is certainly not something that the mind nor the intellect could touch unless the mind and the intellect is just simply a transmitter towards something that is much greater. Namaste from North East. Om Shanavatu Shano Vunaktu Shaviram Karavahi Tejanasti Navadimastu Ma Vidivisarte Om Shanti 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 May He protect us all. May He nourish us all. May we work together, win great energy, may out study we throw and truthful. May there be no an university between us. Om, peace, peace, peace. Thereafter, the audience applauded the release of Maharaji's latest children's book in the Blooming Bird series, The Math of Sharing, and the new Darshan Education Foundation souvenir. A musical cultural performance began with the young students highlighting how values of unity in diversity, selfless Let's service and love for all are integrated Darshan into the Darshan Academy curriculum starting at the kindergarten level. There is a focus on creating a welcoming and caring environment at the schools which affirms and respects each student in the classroom. And bring every one along It's time for joy and cheers We are celebrating 25 musical ballet performed by the students of Darshan Academy embraced a medley of performances showcasing the different regions of India, Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Maharashtra, Odisha, Gujarat, Delhi and Cali, Colombia in South America where the 23 Darshan Academy schools are located. Each performance was prefaced with a skit depicting how the different ethical virtues were being taught in the schools. The musical ballet, Sparkling Souls Spreading Peace, started its journey in the state of Uttar Pradesh, where the first Darshan Academy opened in Meerut in 1995. This uplifting Kavali song was based on a poem by Sant Darshan Singh Ji Maharaj, sharing the peaceful message of the spiritual masters. The glittering performance of the Haryana state on the theme Living a Spiritual Life in the Modern World spread the message that we need to live a balanced life including time for meditation. With lively vibrations, the Bhangra of Punjab highlighted the theme Love for All and Love for God. Darshan Academies in the Punjab are located in Amritsar, Ludhiana, Dasua and Jalandar. <laughs> Who 
ਖੁਸ਼ੀ ਦੇ ਗਾਉਂਦੇ ਰਹਿਣ ਰਸਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਬ ਦੀ ਸਾਰੇ ਐਸਾ ਜੋ ਜਰਚਾ the fabulous performance of the state maharashtra displayed the importance of selfless service in our lives devlali and pune are the two blossoming darshan academies in this state The next theme focused on honesty as an integral part of ethical living represented by the state of Odisha in a rhythmical folk dance Darshan Academy Bhubaneswar and Sundargarh can be found in the state of Odisha in the dazzling performance by the budding stars showcasing Cali, Colombia in South America the virtue portrayed was non-violence A colorful dandiya dance from the state of Gujarat stressed on the virtue of humility an essential core value on the spiritual journey Introspection was depicted through a mirror dance by students of Darshan Academy Delhi emphasizing how when we look at our thoughts words and actions we can improve our lives daily and review our reactions man man antar man 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 ek dar pan मैं आई ना हूं मुझे देखो तुम पहचानो अपने आप को मैं तुम्हें तुमसे ही मिलाता हूं मैं हर दम याद दिलाता हूं मैं आई ना हूं हां हां मुझे देखो मुझे देखो ये चुस्त जो ये यार जो ये चुस्त जो ये मुकम्मल सा जहां ये सब यही रह जाएगा ये सब यही रह जाएगा दी यूनिक करिकुलम ऑफ दर्शन एकेडमी हार्मोनियसली ब्लेंड्स अ रेगुलर एकेडमिक सिलेबस विद एथिकल एंड स्पिरिचुअल डेवलपमेंट एंड स्टूडेंट्स बिगिन देयर डे विद मेडिटेशन दे अटेंड क्लासेस ऑन क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग टाइम मैनेजमेंट decision making and peaceful conflict resolution with a strong focus on academics enriched with sports and physical education volunteer activities encourage selfless service practical life skills are honed with the goal of preparing students to navigate life's challenges and thrive in the world
education. The celebration was a day to remember, underlining the spirit of education that the Premier Institute has been upholding for the last 25 years. Relating to the theme, Sant Rajinder Singh Ji Maharaj reminded us in his key address, we need to experience the sparkle and joy within, which is innate to our own beings.